Hello, I'm going to show you um, how to make little silver balls from um, your scrap silver clay. Now, this is um, sheet silver clay, this is PMC sheet that I've got that's hanging about. Um, and that you can keep your scrap silver sheet um, in its bag for ages and it, you won't, it won't go off. It might discolour, but it won't go off. Um, so you can do you can do that anytime and these are also little scrap bits of silver clay and um, that's dried um, I've made something and it's broken so it's a good idea it's nice to have a, another alternative apart from um, scrapping it and, make, and reconstituting it this stuff can't be cannot be reconstituted so this is one way of reusing them all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut little bits of it and if you wanted this is not the way to get even um shaped size balls so and um, this is basically a way of getting um just a myriad of little balls that you can use to decorate your work with if you wanted to go and do um even size balls you roll out some clay and um to the same depth use a little cutter of the same size cut out as many as you need and then roll them up by hand and let them dry this is just basically using um the our torch and our block to reticulate them to um a ball shape now i tend to um have little drill tools in my charcoal block. You don't need to have a charcoal block, you can use a normal um, firing block as well. But um, I like to use a charcoal block and you just, you can put the little, drill the little holes here like that. And the idea is that when the, the silver starts to reticulate it will shrink and it will go into the little ball so you'll so the little holder so you'll be able to find it and it won't roll off the block so that's um something to bear in mind and you can just i'm going to take these away just add your heat obviously the smoke and the flame and um, stuff will happen because it is silver clay and it's raw it's it's in its um clay form and then just apply the heat. Now this is where you stop generally if you're going to fire, um, but you want the the a ball to form. And this is this is what reticulation is, because essentially what the silver wants to do is just curl up into a little ball. And hey, let's face it, this time of year, who doesn't want to do that? And there we are. There's one little ball there. So I'm just going to do another one. And the great thing about having these little holes in there is that the, if you don't, what can happen is that your the ball can just escape across um, and disappear, which isn't very helpful. So I'm just going to show you exactly the same process, but with a, a piece of silver clay. Um, and be careful of the block, obviously, because that's hot. So this is just silver clay that I've, t I've rolled out, textured, and um, something broke or something didn't work in it, it's in my scrap pot. So again, we get a wee bit more of a flame because it's actual silver clay lump. Just press that heat in, just be consistent and, and what will happen is that that will ball up like that, become liquid. And have a little bit of um, a water bowl on the side and you can just drop them in to the water. And once you've got them in the water, you can just um, leave them there until you've done the whole section that you've got. But you'll have a little um, silver bowl that you can use in your work. Um, and I, I use them for accents and um, you can add it to um, wet metal clay, you can add it to um, you can add it to fire metal clay if you want, but you can um, add it with, you can make a little divot in the piece and set the ball in there. You can do lots of different things. And um, what I might do is I'll, if you, if you like this video and you want me to show you, I will show you how to set one of these little balls in your work. Okay, so I just put these in a little container full of little silver balls and I just take them out when I need them.